Hey guys, it is me, Bird Boy here. Today we are back with more videos. We are going to be doing tier list things because I just think it'd be cool. Today we are going to be doing pick men ones. So this tier maker was created by um, this YouTuber. I'm putting them on the screen right now. He has his own YouTube channel and he has a video Make it all of these Pikmin in this tier list. And we are actually going to be doing it on our own. So, let's get into it. So, let's, in Pikmin 1, all going at a solid B tier. I'm actually going to put them in A tier because fire in Pikmin 1 is very deadly. You only have one second in order to get rid of it. I'm pretty sure on the Switch version, I think they actually got rid of it but i can't really tell um i'm having an image on the screen right now to show you how deadly it is so yeah um you the, the yellows go into s tier bomb locks and pikmin one are just op it can two shot a ball board and two shot wally cards i think three shot ball bears. they're overpowered now it is thundering and like it's storming outside so if you guys hear it just don't mind it blues b i will put them up higher i think they're good so i mean they're just very good and in general so that's why they're here standing into the pigment two stuff which is where the best types are in sorry reds just reds in Pikmin 2 are just invalidated by another Pikmin type. Well, yellows in 2 are S tier because electricity in Pikmin 2 is so deadly. It instant kills Pikmin. And yeah, sorry, blues. You guys are going in C tier with the yellow, with the reds because you can, because the, the, the water is not really that big of an issue in Pikmin 2. Bubbles, obviously, at the top of S tier, obviously. They are just the best of Pikmin types in the game. Whites deserve a B2. They're very fast, and I just like them. Bulb and I'm gonna actually put them at the top of A tier. The reason why is because when I watch tier lists, these are in S tier. But unfortunately, when I was playing Pikmin 2, I just saw that they're like things, like like they only appear in free caves, and you can usually only get 20. They're really good in Smudge Castle, but not enough to put them in A tier. And this is my opinion. Um, oh, um, 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 you guys are in S, the Reds and Pikmin 3 are S tier, because when I was playing Pikmin 3, enemies are just super weak in Pikmin 3. Reds can just snap away enemies. That is why this is my own opinion, so don't, like, make, take this too seriously. Okay. Um, I'm putting the yellows here at B tier. It might be weird because I put the two first yellows literally in S tier because they're strong. I'm gonna, sorry, Blues. I'm just, they're just, they're just invalidated. They suck in Pikmin 3. Because they don't, because they're literally like the second to last bosses in the Pikmin 2 series. Walks, oh, A. I mean, A. And uh, wings are about right here. I had to fix the tier list a little bit up. <laughs> Obviously, these guys are in D tier. They're not even in the story mode, and they're nerfed as pick. Reds are S tier in this one. The reason why I did this is because you get you can just get a bunch of reds, and they're recommended in so many. They're recommended in the first area and this in one of the areas in the post game. This is my opinion, so don't take the, you know, I'm going to put them in A tier. Um, wait there. So, yellows. Yellows are just not that good in Pikmin 3. I mean, Pikmin 4. Blues are officially now going into the A tier. That's because... They're so... Because since, I think Pikmin 4 is an open world game. But, do really good. They're recommended in the second area, Strange Shores, which is really popped up with water, and Giant's Hoof 
in Pikmin 4. So they, they belong in A tier. You guys are going to go about right um, here. The, where the purples, it's really easy to farm purples in Pikmin 4. You can either get the purple onion or you can just farm them in the golf castle. I'm putting you guys, I'm putting the whites in B tier because I just think they're okay, but I just don't think they're that good. But they're good. I always farm them when I play Pikmin 4. They're going, these guys are going right there. Blocks are going in there. Wings are sadly going in the B tier. I just, when I was using them, they're just not as good as they were in Pikmin 3. But it's hard for them to take shortcuts. The two new Pikmin types. We're going to put the Ice Pikmin about right here. And Gold Pikmin are going in A tier. The only reason I put them in A tier is because they're only locked down to caves and night expeditions. But I still use them. I farm them every time I play Pikmin 4. But um, this is just my own opinion. So, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video today. Um, I will be doing a Stranger Things tier list in the next couple of days. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Anyway, bye guys!